Hey guys, we just got back from the Lego Movie Part Two, uh, starring the second part. The the yes, <laughs> the second part. Oh, I see, my fault. That's uh, the <laughs> second part, uh, and this is uh, starring uh, Chris Pratt as Emmett and Elizabeth Banks as Wild Child, Wild Stallion, Wild Child. Oh, and, uh, you know, of the everything is awesome fame, um, the Lego movies. I got to say, I am a fan. I am a big fan of the Lego, uh, the original Lego film, the Batman Lego film. I did not see Ninjago. Did you see Ninjago, Joe? No. I, they had Jackie no. Chan. I did, but I, I don't know. I just kind of like, eh, Yeah, it, it started to get a little old, baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Oh, that one was truly for kids because – in these Lego movies, there's a lot of references. There's a lot of crossovers, uh, and you get a lot more of that here. This film has uh, tons and tons of references and stuff like that. Um, but what did you guys think of the second part? You want to go first? Uh, I didn't see the first part. Oh, so, um, shit. I watched a short video recap so I knew mm -hmm. would know what was going on. Um, but this one was okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 just how people describe the first one so with, you know, such fondness mm -hmm. that there, in my mind, there's no way that this one lived up to as how good the first one was. Mm -hmm. no. But um, yeah, so you agree with him, Joe? You've seen the first yeah, one. Yeah, I saw the first one. Uh, the first one obviously had it's like uh, it was original. It's something I haven't seen before. It's right. amazing. And it's hard to recapture it that is, magic. It is, and obviously you have the sequel, which all like they're not as good. But this wasn't a bad movie. I still enjoyed right. myself. Mm -hmm. But the first one was obviously way I, better. I think, and I, I'm I'm gonna have to agree with them. But I think I enjoyed the film a lot more than them. Uh, may have been because I had more drinks than them. I don't know, or I was just yeah, having make, a damn we're, we're good. Make, we're making up. There, there you go. You're making up for it. But I had a damn good time. I think these Lego movies are just great at tackling. Uh, relatively, uh, you know, complex themes. There's, there's. Well, it's a very simple story. Look, here we go, Alex. Yeah, yeah, complex yeah. themes. Whoa, 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 whoa. The ad the the death of imagination, adolescence, uh, uh, the child wonderment, uh, uh, family. There, is, there is a lot of things in the film that this yeah. thing covers, and well, I think it does it well with toys. Okay, so I'm just a fan of Legos. And all I, right. The first. You remember one, Sam? One. Sam oh, yeah. Jones. Is a, <laughs> <laughs> Big, massive Lego world. We'd go over to Sam's house because his mom also was playing Legos with us. And so he had so many Legos. And this movie, I just love the idea of, you know, the live action bits. Mm -hmm. And it's not, not really a spoiler because that was in the, the first yeah. one as well. And they integrate the live action bits with the fantasy world in uh in a natural way, in a way that tells a story that I think pretty much everybody can relate to, especially a big kid with a huge imagination. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. See, the first die. one actually got to me because I love playing with Legos. Yeah. And I have Lego ships that I built myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and like, all oh, of the Lego pirate. Yeah, like, oh, you bought some display. this year. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is for display. It's not for playing. And I, I kind of get that whole little story. Right. This one was a little bit like simpler, what whatnot. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't as good. It wasn't as but good as for you. Like I said, okay. it's still enjoyable. This is about it, the reason why is uh, because his little sister gets involved. And that's why Joe doesn't like it because you got the little sister toys. And, and you get you that, didn't like uh, that? The, 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 the little the sister of toys? The first one. You get it. Oh, yeah. It, they lead right into this mm -hmm. one, I believe, uh, where the, the sister wants to play. And I got to say, man, those little toys, the little uh, play bowl. Or I don't cute. know what you call those yeah. one. It's so <laughs> damn cute. They just show up. They're like, hello. <laughs> hi. And you're like, oh, I just <laughs> and then just shit just goes crazy. Like these things are destructive and they're blowing up shit. And so Emmett and the crew have to find a way to deal with these little freaking destructive, cute toys invading their world. They all world. sound like Ike. Yes, oh, yeah. and that's part. Of, that's that's probably what got to me, Joe. Yeah, it doesn't capture the magic of the original yeah, uh, when you first do hard. that. But it, but yeah, that's very hard. And I think that the story takes an original, uh, you know, um, avenue. It picks up right where the, they set up the last one, and it handles it in a really entertaining way. Just the the fact that. 
these anything can be built right in front of our eyes, and they do this multiple times. Yeah. They even do this with like numbers this time. I don't remember that la in the first one. Do you remember, Joe? See, if they actually I displayed the part numbers so that after you watch the movie, you can go home and buy the Legos and buy build that. I don't remember that. You don't remember that part? <laughs> yeah, me neither. But um, you know, I, I just thought uh, it, it was it was a great story. Now, what did you think about the side characters in this one? Um, Batman and uh, sort of this queen character. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Tiffany mm -hmm. Haddison. The, the, the actress? Okay. Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, her, so I don't know what it is. She's not really funny to me, mm. but she's fine. Mm -hmm. she, I, I thought she had an uh, – if that's really her, she has all right singing voice. There's – there's a lot of songs. Uh, a lot you know, of songs. It's a musical, but the first one was a musical. But See, a lot I'm of those songs worked. And I think mm, these songs didn't quite work as well as the original songs. Uh, there, there was one in particular that just kind of didn't have the magic. It felt out of place towards the end of the film. But some of them were good. Uh, and, and big attempts to try to get this. This song will get stuck in your head, I think, one of the songs there. Did it get stuck in your head? No, it didn't. No. 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 Exactly. So it's I'm still singing everything is awesome. So right. That yeah. one's <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, Alex, what do you think? I thought that some of the side characters were were okay. Like I actually like I didn't know that the the like Charlie Day was the spaceship guy mm -hmm. and then the pirate was uh Oh, Ron, yeah, yeah. what, what is his name? Ron's he's Ron. Ron he'll always be Ron Swanson Nick to me. Offerman. Nick Offerman. And so, like, I like some of those characters. They're 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 new to me. So I, I did appreciate them. Some of the new ones, like I they had, they were kind of pushed in the back here. Obviously, they they're not featured uh, as much as yeah, they were they in this in the one. First. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I I didn't mind Tiffany Haddish. She sang so much, mm -hmm. and it's not not for me. Yeah, every single part of her is pretty much singing. It's, you yeah. know. Uh, but I, I thought it was cleverly done. And I think uh, people in the theater was having a great time. I think if you go watch this, you're going to have a great freaking time. Uh, don't expect it to be better than the original. But a lot of you, you know, maybe disagree with us uh, on Wreck-It Ralph because I thought Wreck-It Ralph was amazing, you know, like a 10 out of 10. And then the sequel, it, it just didn't capture the magic. And not only did it not capture the magic, it didn't. It doesn't even live up to average for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one wasn't a disappointment no. to me like that one. This one just wasn't quite as good as the original, but it's still an enjoyable ride. And it's really tough, honestly. If you think about it, there's not a lot of films out there where the sequel's better. You know, the first one that always comes to mind Aliens. is Aliens. <laughs> uh, well, that's debatable. Uh, even that's debatable. Everything one that's not is debatable Terminator is Terminator 2. 2. Terminator that's, Terminator. that's the one right yeah. there. Uh, but I'm <laughs> Aliens is my favorite movie of all time. But anyway, so um, I guess... You know, we can get into spoilers, some of the plot points, uh, but this, this film does make use of, uh, you know, live action segments, and you have to have a little bit of, uh, you know, sort of, it, do you think guys they're pulling a toy, you know, it's, it, it reminds me of Toy Story a little bit, but just How told dare you. In, a, in a, yeah, I know. They did it better. They did yeah. it better is what I'm yeah. saying. And when you see it kind of retold in this way and you think about the concepts and you're like, wait, how does that work? But you just, no, you shove all yeah, that yeah. out of your mind and you just suspend your disbelief and yeah. you don't, you don't really question it because it's a, it's a silly, fun ride uh, with, you know, a creative, uh, uh, locations, uh, you know, immense imagination and some humor that actually I I liked. Yeah, this, this guy didn't. There's some humor that well, I liked. I enjoyed it. Okay, well maybe we'll <laughs> you ask you in spoilers what what you okay, specifically yeah. laughed about. All right, let's go to the final verdicts then. Okay, uh, I will lead this off. Uh, this one, I had a good time with this. The jokes. Let me let me get your rating on the fur. Where, didn't we rate that? No, we Shoot. rated a uh, Lego Batman. Okay, okay. Yeah, we did that one. Uh, that one I gave like an eleven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson was right. <laughs> a little cameo thing. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, this one I had a good time with. Uh, the story was a little bit more simplistic. It was a whatever. It's, it's a feel good movie. Um, humor was great. Love Chris Pratt and everybody else. New characters were fine. Uh, overall, I would probably give this a 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, it, was for it was good. My expectations were really, really low. 
Uh, I didn't think I was going to like this at all. I thought I was going to hate the, the musical numbers. Mm-hmm. I didn't like them. I thought that it was going to be humorless, and I was wrong. I, there definitely was some parts. I mean, I, you didn't catch me laughing, but there were some parts where I like – I was trying. I yeah. was trying. There were some people behind me that were just cackling. I don't know how many of these things they had or if they just <laughs> – those people that just, like, laugh constantly. But, yeah. like, there were people were having a good time, mm-hmm. and even someone like me can have a good time watching something like this. Yeah. So I don't think this this you is a – You were chuckling. Were you chuckling? No, I didn't chuckle. No, I didn't chuckle. Oh, I, was I was chuckling all the damn time. I, there was a. There, there was, this is my kind of humor, and even even the stu- like there. But there, it's my kind of humor minus ten years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we, that's the kind of jokes I would have written for a movie back then, and this is the kind of premise I would have written. And at one point, they even do an intermission joke. You know, let's all go to the movie. It seems completely out of fucking place, but it's one of those things that I would have thought funny a li- little when I was yeah. a little younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, now it just is a little bit of a chuckle. Oh, they made that reference. Yeah. Uh, there were some things I did like. Uh, there were some like cameos that I really appreciated, mm-hmm. um, and so I think this uh, this is a six for me. Okay, so it's slightly above average. It's above you average. Need to watch the original, then. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that you would enjoy the original more than this one, and we can probably squeeze a seven or an eight out of Alex <laughs> at that point. But I'm gonna tell you guys, I really, really enjoyed this one, and uh, I thought it was a good follow up. Not stronger than the original, but I didn't expect it to be. I didn't go in here thinking that this Lego Movie Part Two or second part is going to surpass the original. I just wanted the story to be solid. I wanted to laugh a few times. I wanted to have, have a good time. Yeah. Have a good time. Bright colors, you know, pew pews, you know, and they do plenty <laughs> of the pew pews and shit like that. So eight out of ten for wow. me. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. And normally I, I, I try to give negative one because I get a little excited in some of these things, especially when we go out to the Alamo or drink a beer. But this one, I think, was uh, worth it enough for an eight out of ten rating for me. Guys, go see it. Uh, you know, it, what is it going up against? We have uh, Cold Pursuit, Cold Pursuit. Uh, which is I love Liam Neeson, and I, I really wanted to see it. And it's, it's a, a dark, dark comedy, comedy, too. So I can't really tell you whether, you know, this weekend you want to go see that one or this one. But I think if you do end up seeing this one, you will not be disappointed, whether you're taking a date, whether you're taking kids or you're just watching it, you know, uh, with a couple buddies yourself. It's good for kids and for adults. All right. So uh, stick around if you want to talk spoilers. If not, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, welcome to the spoiler section. Uh, so, yeah, everything is not awesome and is the song that they sing when they all get thrown into a bin. So here's this story, sort of story. like a toy story <laughs> where toys are alive. They touch on eventually, um, you know, you're going to stop playing with the toys and they're all going to die. And it's so sad. But actually, this, they don't really focus on that. No. That was kind of thrown in there towards the end. They are really more focusing on the relationship between the little uh, sister and the brother. And all she wanted to do was to play with her brother and, and play Legos with him. And a long time ago, he built her a little heart, you know, maybe because he, he truly cared for her, but also to get her out of the room so he could play with <laughs> his Legos, right? But then they ca- she keeps coming back. And, uh, and But this is the plot of the real Le- the Lego movie where everything is bright and colorful and, it's, and then it turns dark and, he's, and he gets older and you can tell that he's building he's his edgy. Legos edgy <laughs> and teenager and shit and no more like happy stuff. That shit ain't cool and he's worried about being – everybody in the world is worrying about being cool because it's a reflection of adolescence. It's a reflection of the teenager. And I wanted to talk uh, – this is a better movie review than Riz, but I didn't want to spoil it. Yeah. Um, so she keeps invading. The sister keeps invading. It's like, God damn it, there's no way to stop her because she's so destructive yet cute and adorable. And and their forces are so powerful, probably because the sister's like, no, I just win. You know, it's like, uh, so that but, sounds like a much better movie than what we just watched. <laughs> no, I think it does it well. And eventually it's it's really the sister finds a way to sort of wants to ally uh, and and she wants to have this big marriage. And so you're thinking 
uh, they they travel to the sister sister or what is it? Sister star. Sister star. Sister star. Right, the sister star system with all the fancy you know Twilight vampires and and fucking uh, you know glittery and, happy glittery and, and ponies and shit. Um, and you know uh, actually, Joe, it's been so long since I've I've checked in on Legos. You you notice how there's a different Lego design where they they yeah they have those yeah so that's a Lego mm-hmm. but it's just for younger kid Lego or something yeah. okay because there are different Lego designs and you're like, what is this? This, this is other. Cool it's me. a swat, swap other. meat knockoff Legos. Yeah, those yeah. aren't the ones I want. Right. <laughs> so I was like, why would Lego allow this? But no, apparently it those is. are real Legos. Little kids. Um, so, you know, they go into her and you think that this new character queen, uh, whatever I want to be, uh, whatever I want to be essentially is yeah. what it is, uh, where she's constantly changing. Um, is really evil. She that she, the first song goes into it like you know I'm not evil and this and that and I was like I didn't want to like that song but I kind of you know they it does enough fanfare where you're like all right yes all right what you that should bad. get a pass you'll get <laughs> yeah. a pass uh, but some of the songs after that it's like okay now we're losing yeah. steam right um, but. Okay, so anyways, but she's not really evil. The whole crux of the thing is the sister just wants us to play with her brother, and they want to ally, and they want to marry Batman with, with the queen. And I thought that was a funny subplot. Joe, did you like that no, one? No, I didn't. No, <laughs> the way to trick him is to appeal to <laughs> It's yeah, because yeah, it, was it was an excuse for Superman to be in a little bit more. She was teasing him. Like, she likes Superman. I don't know, like dark brooding guys. I like Superman. And Batman's like, w- w- wait, what? <laughs> but... No, I, I'll convince you that I am totally better at everything. Yeah. And so then he's like, all right, marry me. But you didn't like that, Joe, because Batman does not – it doesn't do that. He's a bachelor. Bachelor for the rest of his life. Bat- bachelor. So it totally fucked up the Batman lore. It was awful. <laughs> but actually it made reference to Affleck, and we're like, ooh. Mm-hmm. Didn't Affleck recently what? announce that he's – Well, she said, she said that she prefers Michael Keaton. Which, oh, yeah, did yeah, she? Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, nice. she said Christian Bell. He's like, I'm more of a Michael Keaton myself. He's like, well, I like Oh, oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big juice, and he pops out. Right, she's <laughs> like, I, I don't like you. Even when you were Christian Bell, I just, I didn't, yeah. I you know. <laughs> Anyways, got him interested in that way. And so this whole time you think that maybe she's a bad guy, but it turns out that this other uh, <clears throat> Rex, Rex, who is <laughs> totally Kurt Russell. Come on. He was Jack Burton. Oh, that's e- yeah, because he's got the same inflections of Jack Burton. When I've he's seen on that movie that a thousand TV times. TV radio, Park I knew Shop you Express. would get it. It's just like I'm watching this, going like, no, I, you are ripping off Jack Burton. It's totally Jack Burton doing yeah. a Kurt Russell impression, and and of course it's Chris Pratt. Uh, and it turns out that he's not a new character. Rex actually stands for Radical Emmett Extreme, <laughs> and it's because uh, you know once it's he's doing time travel bullshit. And when it he, doesn't make any sense. And no, it has nothing it to do with the plot. And <laughs> <laughs> it's so totally stupid, but you buy it because it it's a Lego movie, right? Because it doesn't have to yeah, make sense. Yeah, but it blows up. It's a huge it plot sense. hole because in the, if it's real life, then these toys can't move. If it's not real life, then the toys oh, yeah. are not magic, but wait, they are I had, magic. I had given sense. up on the story like an hour before okay. then, so she's like, I don't even care anymore. Yeah, Just stop care, singing. I was fine because they stopped stop singing. singing. <laughs> it has the DeLorean. Mm. He, took, he took some parts from the DeLorean. Yeah, the yeah. TARDIS. Tardis, yes. hot tub time machine, the hot tub time machine, and then Bill and Ted, Bam. Rufus. They took Bam. Rufus's because that that's not Bill and Ted's phone booth. That's Rufus's mm, phone booth. Look at See? you, lore master. Why? Because it was blue, and it was older or something. Oh no, that was Tardis. I was thinking of Tardis. The the other one is a actual phone booth. How do you know that so one? So it makes sense. Rufus's because Rufus is the person who brings it to Bill and Ted. George Carlin's name is Rufus. Oh, well, I thought they were. Uh, look, I know my, I know my Rufus's. <laughs> As, oh, George Carlin is the best. Anyways, so it totally so, makes sense. Yeah. It, uh, so, be, oh yeah, totally because the whole cameo. Nothing makes sense. Go. The movie's yes. stupid. But What's the best it's cameo fine. in the film? Bruce Willis. That's is, uh, explain one of the it to parts us. That made me laugh. Okay, so during a, one of these scenes, they're trying to brainwash. Um, what, what's her name, Liz? Yeah, yeah, like uh, Elizabeth Banks. Elizabeth Banks' character, and she tries to escape, so she goes through the vents. No, well, she's first, wild child. You, the first part where she's like, my hair doesn't matter, and she's like, if I pull off my hair, does that make me Bruce Willis? Oh. And it's like, no, that's him over there, and he's like getting rubbed down or something. Right. It's like, all right. And, and at first, he talks so quick that you're like, that's not that, is that Bruce Willis? Because it kind of sounded like Bruce Willis. Yeah. I mean, I had a couple of these. It, in fact, it act, to me, that first one sounded like Nicolas Cage doing a Bruce Willis impression. And I was I was totally thrown off. But then, later on, 
<laughs> it was. <laughs> So this is where she tries to escape through the vents. She's crawling, and then she <laughs> spots. She runs into Bruce. She's like, "What? I I totally don't live here. Like, I have a house." <laughs> so now we know what Bruce Willis does in his free time. He just crawls in air ducts, and that's where he lives, essentially. So great cameo from Bruce Willis. And you know what? He seemed like he was m- enjoying himself and actually acting more than he acted in Glass. <laughs> no, was that wasn't like, Bruce yeah. Willis, was it? <clears throat> yeah, Did we was, do? Was it? That was Bruce Willis. Oh. I didn't look in the credits. Me neither. Oh, shit. Good. Is it actually Bruce Willis? It better be. It's. I'm pretty damn sure it's Bruce Willis. I can tell when it's Bruce Willis. You can, you can and tell? And I'm going to get wrong. And you can put it in the comments if I'm wrong. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. I thought that that was a fair. It's not Bruce Willis? I'm looking. We're looking. Okay. It, I thought it was a fantastic little subplot uh, with the fact that, you know, um, this, I, I, di- I did agree that it doesn't make sense, but I like the fact that it's touching on, okay, well, you know, as a teenage boy, you, 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 you care less about um, just building whatever you want to build, and you're trying to build something cool, and you can't play with your sister and stuff like that, and maybe you stop playing with toys uh, in the eventuality. Uh, but they do have a feel-good ending where uh, it's Armageddon, Mama, uh, Armageddon, a Mamageddon, yeah, something like yeah. that, but it turns out that it was just um, our mom gets our mom in, gets in yeah. right? And then she walks in the room where there, where he smashes. Yeah, he was a dick. That little kid's a dick. dick, right? The, he, for some reason, he's like, why are you taking my this or whatever? And he smashes his sister. This, gi- this giant construction. It's he's like, you cool took five shit. of my things, cool. and so I'm going to smash this thing. Right. Yeah. And uh, so she's like, nope, that's it. All the toys are going in the bins, and then all the toys die. They and go to the storage. Movie, they yeah, storage, <laughs> and they fucking fade away, and that's it. And it says the end, and it was really super depressing. And, and I thought that was a bold ending, and I just did not understand. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be you know pretty heart wrenching for kids, but that's it. You know, you <laughs> eventually you stop playing with toys and fuck it, you lose your imagination and fuck Never. that whole film series. Yeah, it's great. I thought then it was. Then you grow a beard and then things are great. And, you, and then you, you drink beer, beer instead then, yeah, of it's toys. Ama- it's, it's amazing. So I still play with Legos. That's why I can't <laughs> grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it doesn't end there. She's like, oh, no, I can't end here. They started singing again. And they again. started singing. It was horrible. Everything is not awesome, but I believe. And then, mm. then the ballet goes. And it turns out the teenage boy is like, you know what? Wow, I, my sister did kind of build some pretty cool stuff here. And uh, She kept the heart that I made her for years uh-huh. ago. So I'm going to give it to her, and then we'll play, and then it'll be fine. And, then and th- her whole world was created by his m- passing on, and it's uh, the but toy to her. the Legos move on their own, so it's like really is yeah, Toy Story. Yeah, so that's where, that was the kind like, of like, what the fuck is going on here? And then there really is Lego time travel between two Legos, and then they fight. And when they fight, I thought it was so funny because you're like, they're going to fight each other, but then it's just smashing together as if there well, was – that's Bible how you fight with Legos. I mean, it's, <laughs> no, it's fucking awesome. So, you see, it, it's just fun and happy. And I, I'm really disappointed that these guys gave it a six and a seven because this is definitely an eight. Mm. Yes, it's not as good as the No, it, has, it definitely has its good points. Yeah. But There's a lot of kind of Will Ferrell, parts. who's the villain in the first one, is, is he never's on screen, but he's, you know, the dad off screen. He's like, let's hear what your mother says and uh, where's my pants and stupid shit like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Feel good for him. What else? So what were some of the parts that really made you laugh? Shit. Uh, well, tell me yours. Mine was uh, two parts. Uh, the Bruce Willis one where yes. he, he gets discovered inside the mm-hmm. vent. Mm-hmm. The second one is I'm a fan of puns. And the Raptors are like, best friends. All uh, <laughs> oh, right. Best friends was really, really He good. just starts giggling. And then <laughs> I just I couldn't be- I just like really that that's the one that made I yeah. love puns. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was super cool. I I was laughing at stupid shit, yeah, you know, Joe. On. I like the stupid shit. Well, like, there was she, whole, there she was... creates this badass vehicle and she's going after this new machine that shows up in the apocalyptic world. And then and then he's and then Emmett is like following her on this like piece of shit <laughs> thing that he built. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Just I was just laughing at dumb shit. What about you? Uh, I, was, I was trying to. I like I like Bruce Willis being in there. Uh, one of the stars threw up, and that was funny. Or yeah. Something. Oh yeah, yeah. The little cute little children, yeah. little stars. That there were sewer movies. babies. I like that sewer there were sewer babies, babies but I mean, they didn't make me laugh. Right. And uh, but no. And then the, the whole thing felt me f- made me feel good because. 
Kurt Russell's in it. And they, they, uh, mm. Kurt Russell's not in it, but he's clearly doing a Jack Burton, Kurt Russell impression. And it just makes me happy because I think Kurt Russell's fucking awesome. And they were trying to make it like, this is the coolest manly man in the world. And My middle like, name is Shuriken Chainsaw. Yeah. You know, like. Fucking sweet. So, anyways, um, just really fun to look at. And uh, I think it's a movie you should see in yeah. theaters, um, especially if you like the first one and you like Lego Batman. Don't know anything about Ninjago. You'll have to tell me in the comments whether it was worth it or not. Um, yeah. yeah. Anything one the, else? One of these days, I will find out what makes you laugh. Have you ever heard this man laugh? Yeah, I've heard him laugh a few yeah, times. I, but I don't I've remember specifically what was doing. And he's laughed in movie theaters as yeah, well. Yeah, there's some things but that these, are funny. This movie fair, was just not one of them. To be fair, it's not really like a super laugh out loud riot. It's one no. that made me giggle the whole time. And that's cool, too. So that's why I enjoyed it so much. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Maybe you guys should like and subscribe. Get Boom. yourself some cool stuff. <laughs> see, if you, uh, hit that you link. can get Find my that name link. on your back. No, don't put Alex. <laughs> oh, if you want to, go right in. Yeah. Man, man. Rep Alex. But, uh, yeah, click the link. Grab some merch. It really helps us out. Supports the show. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, Oh. Okay, what is it? Was it Bruce Willis? Yes, it was Bruce it Willis. It was Bruce Willis. All right. Another thing We're throwing pretty, this in. Well, another thing that was pretty cool was uh, the Justice League, how they take off. It was actually oh, yeah. Jason Momoa. <clears throat> was it really? Yeah, yeah, it I kind of noticed it. Had, he was having a good time. Yeah. No. But they were making fun of Green Lantern, which I thought was really fucking cool. Uh, you and know, all and of self Justice referential. League. Yeah. They even made. They were pretty much ma saying Justice League is just wholly ineffective. The Justice League sucks balls because it did. We called Marvel. They haven't returned our Marvel would <laughs> return our phone calls and shit. Uh, yeah. There. So there was some, some fun referential material that they that WB was allowing them to poke fun at themselves, and I think that's cool. Unlike uh, what's that? Wreck It Ralph, remember who Disney, oh, you know, has the Star Wars, and when they wanted to reference, uh, uh, you know, that news story that said they wanted to make Kylo Ren like a little, you know, uh, bitchy punk or something like that, and he was whiny, I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. They made they made them change it, you know. No, it is. That movie was bad. Yeah, I don't care yeah, what the comments okay. are. That movie was not very good. Right. So this one much better than Wreck It Ralph two, um, and if especially if you enjoyed this franchise and. Uh, I think it's great. All right. That, I think that's it for real this time. Yeah. All right. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. <laughs>